Hi guys, it's me Jenny and welcome to your Health Matter channel. In our today's video, we are going to talk about the best antihistamine treatment for hives, sinus, and itching. Let us discuss one of the greatest treatments for antihistamine effects. Histamine is now a part of the immune response. It is the item that causes the majority of allergy-related symptoms. The issue is that occasionally the body reacts excessively or incorrectly to a potential allergen resulting in a string of extremely uncomfortable symptoms. Whether it is dermatitis, high fever, runny nose, itchy eyes, or, well, itching any place in the body. That is, skin photosensitivity inflammation. As a result of the narrowing of your bronchial tubes, you may experience light sensitivity, sneezing, weariness, and even wheezing. Additionally, your cortisol response will increase in proportion to your histamine reaction. It is because the body's endogenous hormone cortisol aids in neutralizing these histamines. They won't have this buffering effect or antidote to histamine if they have adrenal fatigue or for example have low cortisol prior to an allergic reaction. Thus, the histamine levels will just increase far too much. And to help you reduce these histamine symptoms, I'm going to provide you a natural cure that you can apply as needed. And this treatment is called thin kerosene, has undergone extensive research from many different perspectives. And what does quercetin do? Well, it prevents the cells from producing histamines. And for your information, they are known as mast cells, and a mast cell is an immunological cell that histamines are released from. So therefore, we can lessen histamine piercing if we can block the mast cell. As with many antihistamines, it also directly suppresses the histamine response and stabilizes the mast cell membrane. So, as a result, you can think of quercetin as a natural zyrtec because it also helps to clear up mucus and inflammation. And, there are a few ways to obtain this organic plant ingredient now. It also can be found in capers, in a kale, dill, and even in radishes. However, you may purchase quercetin as a supplement, and depending on your size, I would advise taking it in a doses of 400 to 600 milligrams. And since quercetin has half-life of around 2 hours, I would recommend taking it every 2 hours until you experience a noticeable improvement on your condition. The point with these plant-based chemicals is that many of them, including piercing, are fat-soluble. So, you would want to take it with a little bit of fat to increase the absorption. And guys, you can consume it with a small amount of butter or coconut oil. But of course guys, just a tiny amount is all you need. Remember guys that possibly combining calcitin with bromelain will further boost bioavailability. This is an additional substance that can facilitate calcitin absorption. This is pretty effective cure, but I'm not guaranteeing that it will work 100% of the time or be 100% effective. Don't worry, I'm going to tell you a few additional supplements you can use to strengthen this effect. Okay, and vitamin D comes in first on the list. And I would recommend that you can consume a minimum of 20,000 IU of vitamin D each day. And additionally, I advise taking zinc. You can take around 50 mg of zinc then. Metal root is the final treatment that I enjoy prescribing. I can say that this is wow, what a powerful anti-inflammatory. It really works wonders for allergies. 
but of course, it depends on the severity of your issue, but it is excellent for inflammation. And, to actually get a more intense effect, you might want to continue with only piercing or add some of these extra things. And that's all for today guys. Thank you for watching. I hope that you like our video today. Just quick, if you don't mind, please do me a favor. Please hit the like and the share button. It really helps and support the channel and I greatly appreciate it. And while you are down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have other videos on my channel that I think you will enjoy and I hope that you like the topic I shared today. And hopefully, you are now on one step closer to taking better care of your overall health. And keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that this video is for informational or educational only. Please don't forget to subscribe, guys, and have a nice day. And always remember that your health is your wealth. Stay healthy. Bye.